spontaneous in a good way. He's very confident and extremely determined. And as for Jack, he's huge. <laughs> Incredibly flirtatious and uh, Mr. Encyclopedia. My three words for Jack are um, intelligent, uh, imaginative and resourceful. Jack is a rocket that's pointing in the direction of Antigua. And Jack is a rocket? He pointed towards the moon and he'll probably take Isaac to the moon. <laughs> I think my, my emoji for Jack would be a book because he has an encyclopedic knowledge of a lot of history and he's uh, definitely going to be very useful on the boat for um, interesting facts. Um, I would say Jack is so strong-willed in terms of in terms of getting better and improving himself for the row that actually rubs off on the team so he he's always posting his times and what he's doing and how he's improving in, in, in physically for the row and it's very very cap captivating it brings the team to do the same yeah and it motivates the team so i think jack's most endearing habit has got to be his out-of-the-box thinking Sometimes they'll come up with some really quirky ideas, but they, they do kind of serve to open up our thought process and uh, don't lead us into a narrow thought, uh, frame of thought. Jack is sleep. Uh, guys, I think we need to get some sleep. We need to bank some sleep. It's really important to get some sleep. So I think he's attached to sleep. Jack, oh, I haven't offended you, have I? <laughs> I think the most common utterance I hear from Jack is, did you know? Followed by a quite interesting fact that I did not, in fact, know. Jack has rode all of his life from a very young age. And he's done lots and lots of high-class competitions, national competitions. And he really wants to see how far he can push rowing. And I, I really strongly believe this is going to be the gr greatest achievement that he will look upon in later life. And he sees that. And he sees it as something he can always look back on and remember, I did that. You know, I pushed myself and I got there. He's so determined. It's just strong will. For Jack, you give him any finish line and he'll go after it. Much like this one. It's like a bull. So Jack's rowing across the Atlantic because of the sheer adventurism. He's grown up reading books about uh, Ernest Shackleton's adventures. And that's really inspired him to go out of his comfort zone and do something like this crazy. Mr. Blue Sky for Jack. Jack is, yeah, the bot. No question, definitely the bot. I think Jack's uh, nickname is uh, Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> Jack, you're my favourite because you make me laugh all the time you're very witty very bright and um the only bad thing i can say about you is if you pick me up you can't hold me without shaking <laughs> and it's not my fault 